And that, my friends, is a wrap for the regular season. The Avs close it out in style. They beat the Edmonton Oilers tonight 5-1. to one. Uh, If this game was a month ago and the Oilers were playing everybody, this would be a very impressive result. But the Oilers dressed uh, nobody. They didn't dress McDavid. They didn't dress Hyman. They didn't dress Dreisaitl. Bouchard didn't play. I think they said it was like 64% of their goals from the year were not playing. So this was kind of a, uh, a lopsided event because the Avs played everybody. Uh, some may say it may have cost him a little bit more because Jonathan Drouin left after the second period, didn't return for the third. That could be something to watch as we go into the playoffs. Not a whole lot you can take from this game because the Oilers didn't play anyone. Uh, the Avs looked okay offensively. I thought there were still a couple defensive breakdowns. I thought Bednar said it well in his mid-game interview where he was like, we're playing down to the opponent and we're letting some stuff slide. So, We'll have to wait and see. I still have some huge concerns going into the playoffs with this team, but you get a victory, close out the regular season in style. I believe it was Jesse Montoyo, Montoya, excuse me, who tweeted out uh, that the Avs now have home ice against the Oilers if they were to match up in the Western Conference Final. Obviously, that's a long ways away, but who knows? The goaltending situation gets a little bit more complicated. I thought Yusuf Sandin had a really good game tonight. Uh, the Avs kind of hung him out to dry on a little, little couple chances, but he made some big saves. I still think Georgiev starts game one, but his leash is going to be as small as ever. And I, I feel confident that if Yusuf Sandin got called in the playoffs, he could he could hold his own. Granted, he'd be going up against Connor Hellbuck, so uh, yeah, that could be a huge mismatch. So what else can you say? Nathan McKinnon breaks the all-time points record for regular season for the Avs. He passes Peter Stastny. He has two points in the first period. There was a moment where I thought he was going to be able to catch Nikita Kucherov. He couldn't, but hey, you know what? It was fun to believe for a little bit. And yeah, I mean, an unreal season from Nathan McKinnon, uh, the MVP. He deserves everything he got. And Miko Rantanen got a goal. Val Nachushkin had two goals. I thought Casey Middlestat looked good. For the first time in a while, I thought that second line with Casey Middlestat, Val Nachushkin, and Trey Lickenham was actually creating some chances. And we'll have to see. I mean, this Avs team has the talent to go and beat Winnipeg, but... Who knows what team's going to show up? Are we going to see the team we saw during that nine-game win streak, or are we going to see the team that struggled and limped uh, across the finish line tonight? So Griffin and I are break it, about to break it all down the Tell Dabs It Is podcast. We have a very special guest for tomorrow's episode, so make sure you tune in for that. But we're going to give our thoughts on this game and all the fun stuff going on in the NHL, so make sure you check it out. But until Sunday night, Sunday night, the Avs play at 5 p.m., Game one in the Western Conference quarterfinals against the Winnipeg Jets. We'll have to see how it all goes. But until then, let's go ads, baby.